Hello, I'm Patrick. And I'm Jeff. We're here in sweltering Nottingham. In fact, it's so hot, Games Workshop have made the last minute decision they're going to relaunch the Telehan Desert, Desert Rangers. No? I don't know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you'll get there, you knew. <laughs> We haven't done one of these for a little while, have we? We haven't had it. Uh, it's been a hot no, minute. It's been a. We haven't. Had I a, mean, it's going to be a very hot hour. You're absolutely right. <laughs> but we haven't had a little ramble for a little while, have we? We haven't. We yeah, haven't. It's we, nice to be back yeah, to it, isn't it? Gave, yeah. gave it a little, gave it a little cheeky pause. Got yeah, some, absolutely. got some other videos out. Yeah. Some G Steelers, some Iron Warriors. Yeah, yeah. I think. Um, I was going to say, was the last time? Was it the last time we were in the studio? We had Zach and Dan here. Oh no, we did Orcs and stuff. Yeah, we speak painting Orcs. Yeah, because yeah. we had Zach and for for those who. Don't yet follow the Facebook page, and you should. Faith and Damnation, Zach, and his, uh, his pal and wingman, Dan, they came here, didn't they, and uh, got to see where all the magic happens. Yeah, it was really cool. It, it was, yeah, it was, it was really it was nice, nice to see them. They were really cool yeah, guys, and they, yeah. Uh, they kindly uh, gave us some stickers, so you will see little logos for Faith and Damnation knocking around. Yeah. Go and, uh, go and ask them if you can join their page. They're a lovely painting group. That's it. Um, uh, oh, yeah. And we also oh, have... What, presents to, our what, first official presents. What size brush do you want to use, Dan? Oh, what? God, you know. Yeah. Because these have been kindly don donated by Ashdown Gaming. They've brought us some brushes, which was very, very nice of them. But Zach did a good job of bringing them up and delivering them. Uh, I think I'm going to go with... For what I'm doing, I might go with this. I'm going to go with this one, I think, I'm going to use for good, some... Good, uh, because I like a two. Yeah, I like a... Uh, I like, you know, now that I'm getting on, I like to use a brush so small that it strains my eyes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> don't, like, don't like to make life easy for myself. Just need to go into sport mode. You know? yeah, absolutely right. I will do, I'm sure sport mode might happen tonight. Actually. The goggles are sitting there ready to go. Yeah. So, Pat, what you paint? So, with my Ashdown Gaming Pure Kalinsky Sable size 2 brush. Oh, you, oh you're so slick. You are so slick. Hashtag influencer. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am only going to be using one paint today and oh. that is chrome model air the if, mother of all paints if it gets in focus there we go um and i'm i'm gonna paint ye old space marine that i always paint but he doesn't have that much metallic on him so i'm just gonna sneakily do a little bit and i imagine i will have done that pretty soon um but i'm also dun, 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 painting my uh warp smith the um, man the myth so these tentacles uh tendrils mechanical tentacly things yeah that are coming out of him um i've made the decision to try and edge highlight each and every single piece of those because you hate yourself Do you hate your life is yeah that what it is? yeah like <laughs> i need to repent for my sins jeff <laughs> yeah. um so um it's gonna take me flipping ages so i thought i may as well get ahead of the game um, i tell you what try a little bit on here i like in the feet you know what? I really like the feet on this. The highlights, I've already put the chrome on the feet. And, you know, some of that is going to be covered up with weathering powder because that's what I've done. Well, not weathering powder, dry brushing or yeah, st yeah. stippling to try and tie it into the base. Um, but with this, I'm already thinking, well, you know, maybe this guy was called down into the battle only recently, so he doesn't have that much dust on his shoes. Yeah, maybe. I would, um, I because, would, I'd be crying if I covered them. Yeah, because they look so good. They look really good. I yeah. mean, I, not not that I'm like tooting tooting one's own horn. Yeah. Um, but f for for my skill and ability, I am happy with how they look, and it's the uh, the sculpt as well with these little bits around the side. Yeah, and... it looks like almost like he's wearing like um, crampons, doesn't it? Yeah, like um, he, he does actually have because they. This will be flush with the base this foot, yeah. but this one that goes uh, oh, up, he does actually have spikes oh, on, wow. on the bottom of his boots. I've never noticed. Um, I've never really looked at this sculpt before, but it's no, really nice. To no, look like, yeah, isn't it's it? really really cool. So really, um, really nice sculpt. I'm gonna stick some hazards on his bum. Obviously not today, but uh, absolutely right. And then that's all gonna be covered. If it up speaks with to his... my wife, she would tell you that he probably could do with that bit on the back of my trousers <laughs> as well. So yes, <laughs> that is looking good. That is what I'm doing. Uh, what are you doing, Jeff? Uh, first time ever. Talked about often, but never been on the show because I always paint uh, my son stuff on the show. Mm. But I am actually going to be today having a little bit of a run at this Plague Marine. I've gone back into painting the Plague Marines, mainly because at some point in the very near future, I'm going to be doing an episode sort of covering rust. Mm. And this guy uh, is one to, uh, I decided to start getting me... Uh, 
start getting me me rust back on starting to get back into that frame of mind after painting some very nice clean silver space marines i thought i'd uh i'd get back so this is the latest one i've been painting as you can see the rust is all done on the engines already he's got a nice rusty and gooey looking plague knife already and so he really needs he needs his he needs his uh, chainmail loincloth doing and if i get a chance i'll start doing a little bit of um some of extreme uh highlighting with him which is going to be with this great color which i love 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 is what is it jeff it's from your uh from from your uh armored suitcase of doom oh yeah it's, it's greenish white by ak interactive it's i love it because it's um it's quite an odd color because the fact it it it, it does jar against um death guard with them being sort of grubby mm. but I the problem I have with Death Guards is I think when you look at them from across the board, which is how we always think is about things from four foot away. Yeah, is they they can become a bit of a green blob. Yeah, oh, I think yeah, yeah. And I like this because it's quite an extreme highlight, and it just sort of elevates some nice little cracks in the armor and one thing or another. As I like to, I this this paint leads me to my painted expression, which is grim dark, but with the lights on. <laughs> yeah, trademark. Yeah. yeah, absolutely right. Um, yeah, so it just helps just sharpen up the edges a little bit, just to make the uh, make ten plague marines not look quite as just sort of like a grim, yeah a grim thing on the other side I of the board with I've, no detail. I've only filmed a load of Death Guards uh, once for a bat rep on uh, one hundred plus, and that was like the narrative Ultramarine versus Death Guard. Yeah, and they had like quite a dark. Um, board to represent like the plague coming across um and then the marines were quite dark as well and especially on on the top down view it was just kind of like blob you couldn't yeah, tell they you couldn't they tell don't, they, 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 and it's a shame because up close they're really lovely miniatures but yeah. i don't want to have to my miniatures have to be up close to someone's face for them to figure out they look nice so i i use that to try and create a a, a nice sort of highlight from a, a sharp sort of highlight from a distance right then so let's crack on yeah fantastic so um as we always start off with jeff absolutely warhammer plus or minus warhammer plus or minus uh right then on three one two three minus Mer. oh you've got them there now. i've got them there yeah. oh yeah. talk to me I've about you near i've got to be honest you know it kills me i didn't think i was going to say it find interrogator a bit boring mm, it has struggled the second arc hasn't really gone quite as far as no i'm a bit bored liked, with it maybe yeah, yeah i'm a bit bored yeah. with it i didn't and i'm getting a bit bored of the sort of faux cockney accents on everybody as well yeah. it's all a bit yeah it sounds like it's people have been hired to do the voices on it with people who couldn't get a job at, uh, in, on eastenders <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have one of the characters get out of my pub. Yeah. <laughs> It'll come to that at some point soon. Yeah, yeah. I'm, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a, bit, um, yeah, a bit struggling with it, if I'm being honest. So, um, so yeah, uh, it's... <sighs> Battle reports, last couple have been Horus Heresy. I'm great for people yeah. who are playing it. If you are, good for you. I'm really pleased for you. But um, I'm not. And, you know, so, and I can't have it all my own way. But, you know, I'm being objective from my point of view. Is, it's i want to be objective i should say from my but, but from my point of view i'm like it's battle reports that don't massively float my boat you know? no yeah um yeah i think so. like it's I, I know that um in the past you have criticized them for being like you're putting out this game why are youtubers like the first people to get a battle report up yeah um to their credit they they have actually I pulled, their they, out they've and, pulled their finger out they've pulled their finger out and they've got Armies painted. They've got Horus Heresy battle reports on the Warhammer battle report uh, before other people. Yeah. Uh, so credit where credit is due. About bloody time, really, though, isn't um, it? Really? I watched like the the most recent week that we've had. Um, I haven't I haven't watched a single thing because um, it's all been uh, AOS. There's no animations. Yeah. No masterclass. It was an AOS battle report and a law masters, which doesn't really interest me. So I just didn't no, watch. no. Um, but I did watch the um, the the battle report, the second Horus Heresy one, um, yes. where they uh, had the Primarchs in as well. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And 
some of it was decent. The intro was pretty good. Uh, some of the shots were, were nice, like the production quality is there. I think where it falls down, and I know I've talked about it before, is is the format and how it turns into two people telling you about a game of Warhammer that they played rather yeah. than you watching people, play people playing a game of Warhammer. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, there, were, there was one moment where um, these two dreadnoughts were fighting each other and apparently they both exploded and that explosion wiped out a ton of marines and we were just told about it. I would, yeah, have, I would have loved like, to have seen, seen that. that yeah. What are the chances of that happening? I imagine that's quite slim. You're absolutely right, yeah, not um, very often. And, and then it, it was just sort of like, this also happens, that was fun. Anyway, uh, oh, it's just not engaging. Um, so that, that upset me a little bit. But I am accustomed to it. Um, so generally, I, don't, I mean, I, I, I don't watch the battle reports all the way through. I'm quite keen to see what they do with the intros. The intro was like my sort of like baby when I was there. Yeah. Um, all the 360s and, and the like, uh, all the, the fake like Mandalorian style lightning in the background and all that <laughs> kind of thing. Um, yeah, yeah. For me, it's a minus. Like I didn't even, I, like I said, didn't watch anything this recent week. Oh, do you not watch any of the paint? Uh, any of the? Did not watch any of the the masterclass on the painting. Uh, there wasn't a masterclass this week. Oh, there wasn't. Um, no. Last week it was. Here's how to use some contrast, contrast paints. Contrast paints that you haven't got yet. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Right. Um, but I tell you what, I did. Um, I always feel like we we give her an easy ride because she we because she's a good friend of yours, but. Uh, I thought Suggs's um, plasma coils lesson was really good. I missed that. I didn't know that was been released really, yet. Yeah, it was oh, really, I need to see it. Really good. I thought she really made it. Uh, really did a very very good job of explaining it. And I know I always feel bad because I always she gets to there. Like I say, she, I always feel like we just going, oh, you let her off because you know her. But um, I did think it was very good. To be yes. fair, she did a good I... job with it. Oh, I saw some stills, but I didn't think it was released yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, need yeah, to watch yeah. it. Um, yeah, it I feel good. I feel underprepared. Yeah. Um, but so one thing I am going to talk about. Yeah. And it is masterclass. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to, if you'll allow me to just have put, a big. You haven't no, have a big. I, I'm just going to put my tinfoil hat on. Oh, oh. Um, you've not wore that before. No. To so shoot you though. Know. Yeah, it's very <laughs> fetching, very yeah. dashing. Um, the palette shots are all fake now. Are they? So, I'm going to put some images. When I edit this, I'm going to put some images over the top. And the next time you have a watch, or when you... I'll, I'll show you the pictures afterwards. Um, I think the, um, the palette shots are done afterwards now. Um, so, say if we watch Peachy paint something on the YouTube. Yeah. Um, quite often, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll go, right, we're going to base coat this McCrag blue. And they'll grab a little bit of paint and um, put it on the palette. It all looks nice and neat. And then they go, right, that's done. Now we're going to move on to this. And then when you see the palette again, it's really messy because they've gone backwards and forwards. They're getting the paint out. They're mixing it to the right consistency. Yeah. And that used to be the way with Masterclass. Whereas now, in the recent ones, um, when I watched Aiden paint... I don't know, like a Praetor or something. Mm -hmm. um, and in some of the contrast paints, when they talk about mixing them, they go to the palette and they put them on. And then when they come back to it, everything's like super neat, like it's not been used. So one of my gripes with Masterclass has been they don't show the paint consistencies. Yeah. That they don't, like with a name like Masterclass, I think my issue with Masterclass is I'm not getting the tuition that I thought... I would have gotten. Yeah. And now I'm looking at the palette shots and I'm like, yeah, it's getting even they're, worse. They're not real. That's that's like a fake representation of what you're doing. Masterclass now isn't like here's how to paint like every metal. It's it's like it's like on the back of the box. Build it, base coat it, a few finishing steps. <laughs> Um, it's like here's how to draw an owl you know draw, yeah, some, yeah. draw some circles add a few details bam it's done and, yeah. and you've put 10, 10 years practice in um, so my I, I encourage people to if you have Warhammer Plus 
um, you know, I'm going to put some red circles around the uh, around the things. But um, yeah, I think I think the palette shots are fake. I can't imagine this episode of the review shows turning into an expose. Yeah, I can't imagine that. Like, I don't know who's made the decision or why. Like, maybe it's faster to paint the miniature if you're not like mixing the paint and stuff like that. But like, why would you hide that from the uh, from the watchers, from the viewers, if you're trying to teach them. Like, I don't, I think what I think of master, like, I look at Masterclass and I think, great, I'm going to learn how to paint from the very best miniature painters that there is. Um, but that was my expectation. And now as I watch it and I see how it develops in personally what I think is the wrong direction, now Masterclass isn't that. It's just like, here's, here's watching someone like this, these are the colours they use and this is where they put them and they say words like glazes. What does it mean? It means nothing. Yeah. I'm just watching somebody really good at paint, painting, paint. Tim Paul hat off. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's definitely an interest. And you know, it's, it's just not on really, is it? Because it's like, you know, you know, I'd like to point out, by the way, this is actually the real palette that's being used at the moment. <laughs> mm, no, no, I'm just very good at After Effects and uh, CGI. You're, you're not actually painting a miniature. You're not painting at all, man. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's, um, it, it's naughty, isn't it? Because it's the idea it's meant to be, us meant to be learning something from it. And, you know, a natural fact all it is, is, like you say, it's just, it's sort of descending into just watching somebody paint, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah. No, it's just not. So, like, I think if I like, I ge do genuinely find like Louise's uh, tutorials like helpful. Yeah. Um, like cool ideas and cool techniques and how to how to do things. Like, I'd never even thought how would I paint a glass bottle with a potion in it. Do you know? Um, and it's really good that that came up because I've yeah. got uh, a miniature for this for the Death Guard that's got about. 15 of the bloody things on his back that I need yeah. to do. So, yeah. yeah, so I think if... Because I can't imagine Louise is sat there going, I'm going to keep my paint consistencies a secret. Yeah. And people are going to have to guess and figure it out themselves. Like, like she's lovely and she wants people to paint really well. So someone's made the decision um, to, to do this. I think um, on her plasma coils one, you don't see a palette at all. Yeah, so there you go. Mm. Um, so they'll just say things like, Thin down the paint, glaze on this paint. Yeah. And there's a lot, there's a lot of assumed knowledge. Like I remember watching the first pilot for faces, um, and and one of I think like my first initial feedback was like, should I know what a glaze is? Yeah. Um, because I didn't at the time. Um, like I feel like I've only really understood sort of what a glaze is fairly recently, as I. Uh, put these humongous edge highlights on this guy mm -hmm. um so yeah i think my my um my view of masterclass i think instead of get, getting annoyed that i'm not getting the tuition that i want from a service that i pay for that's called masterclass um i think now i look at it and go oh that's a cool idea that's a cool way of painting yeah that um i i'll experiment and give it a go um, if they paint, say, like the Avatar of Cain or, um, you know, the Praetors and stuff, generally, like Aiden's done, like the, the more like full miniatures, um, that's of no interest to me at all now because I'm just watching him put paint on plastic, not really knowing how he's doing it. Yeah. Um, I agree with that. Yeah. Strange decision to make as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The biggest, the biggest miniature company, um, not yeah I, I just yeah i don't understand like like you look at you look at the palettes everything's neat and tidy and and just like everything's mixed down with a bit of water and, well, the bit, well the bit that makes me laugh is we're still here at the point that god knows how long you know it's been and they still aren't making a palette no still aren't making a wet palette yeah yeah you know for the longest time i thought well they don't make a wet palette because it goes against their painting style but now obviously when you're looking at the way they are increasingly painting on masterclass and then on youtube yeah they've acknowledged the existence of a wet palette i think still aren't yeah, making one. yeah i think like i mean they don't they don't use one on youtube 
Oh, Jong did not use one. Um, so. Because they, that has to be only products that they sell. Ah, oh, right. Um, right. And um, and it and it is should be very beginner friendly as well. I think there will most likely be with the YouTube presenters a bit of um, like the new the new guys. Some of the Horus Heresy um, tutorials are saying like. Do an edge highlight. Now do a thinner one in that of this colour. And I'm watching on my phone and I'm like, I can't see that. Yeah. <laughs> Barely see it when I'm holding the miniature of mine yeah. when I'm watching it on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Um But uh Yeah, there you go. Those are my my sort of two two cents on, on Masterclass. I've I don't view it as a masterclass anymore. I view it as cool ideas on how to paint specific Parts of miniatures. Yeah, yeah, but that's but that's it. But that's it, because otherwise it's a bit sad. Isn't it? uh, yeah, it's otherwise I just get a bit frustrated. Yeah, um, because I don't, I don't understand the decision making process that they're going through. Um, it's it's weird. Yeah. yeah. I wonder why I'd love to spit. You know, you use some of these things where you want to be a fly on the wall, don't you? And go. Why did you? You know what? What was going on there when you decided on that? You know, speed maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what it comes down to. It comes down to speed. I don't know. But yeah, it's a, but, but then like you're say, filming it separately. Like you could if you're if you're doing if you're filming with like two or three cameras, it's interesting, the whole filming process for Masterclass is bizarre. So they have this massive set which you only see in a couple of shots. Yeah. Like in the introduction. Yeah. And then a few bits where they're doing their exposition. And they say, oh, I got this paint and this paint. And then it cuts back to them. Okay, now you've done that. Let's do this. And then it... And they do paint in the studio, but they when they paint, they put a piece of black paper in front of, like, over the table that, yeah. that they're painting on. So, like, you see in their, in, in their intro, there's a cutting mat in front of them and the paints that they're using. Yeah. But they're not... So they're trying to sell it like... Okay, I'm gonna do this, and these are the paints I'm gonna use. Now we're gonna do it, but then it, like, what the filming of them painting could literally be done anywhere, like they could do it upstairs in the offices. Yeah. Um. So they have all of this massive studio that you only need to spend like, y you get what like a minute's worth of footage, two minutes worth of footage per masterclass. All of that money for that set that just gets used like a fraction. Yeah, a fraction we, of time. It's like bizarre, a isn't it? yeah. It's it's the the filming of the show. Like there could be so much. Say like in the videos that we've we've produced, like the the um, the uh, Iron Warriors, the Gene Stealers. Like when we're painting something, yeah. everything ha feels like it's in the space. Absolutely right. Like yeah. I try and make a conscious effort to be like, look, this is why I built Blood Angels Red when I was painting orcs. I like um, <laughs> I like that this. This table's now starting to tell a story, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that this is like <laughs> like like the mugs of tea, and you know the lights in the background and and some of the pictures are like characters. Yeah, yeah. Um, albeit you know small ones, but it all adds up to to yeah. you know to do that. Whereas if I if 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 I was talking, and I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna paint, and we swap to this camera where my blood angel is, and you're like, you can see the paint point, you can see the table. Um, even though you know he's out of focus, there we go. Mm -hmm. But if that just swaps and you've got a black background and it's like, well, that's not there. Like, what? What's the point? Yeah. yeah. Like, it, there's at least with like the battle reports, you know, that's all grounded and that makes sense. It would be like if they did the interviews for the battle reports in the canteen. <laughs> yeah. And you, and you and and good analogy. It'd be like, uh, hi and welcome to battle report. And this week, I'm eating a jacket potato. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Um, yes. I need to, uh, and like, it, 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 there's just this disconnect, and they're fantastic painters, um, you know, you know, really good presenters, but yeah. um, there's just some decisions somewhere that aren't making sense. I, I've said that like three times, and going around in circles. We need to move on. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> but yeah, you know, well, it's still about half an hour short, and the last time we talked about Warhammer Plus, so yeah, there we go. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and I still haven't got my miniature. 
Yeah, oh, you still haven't got your minutes yet. I still haven't got my 10 second rewind on the player either when it comes no, to. No, no. Uh, we don't have subtitles on the We still don't have yet. subtitles because apparently yeah. nobody deaf paints miniatures. No, you know? no. Well, that's that's lucky, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's yeah. Plus, isn't yeah. It? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, come on, Warhammer Plus. Just pull your finger out just a little bit more, you know, be nice. So, so maybe they're not pulling their finger out because they're going to kill it. Yeah, just put a bolt gun to its head. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Summary executors. The thing is, oh, I was thinking about this, because, like, if they just put everything on YouTube, this is... Th oh, no, that was a free brush. Treat it with yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but I, I, I appreciated the anger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 This, <sighs> Do you want to get a, a, a monkey brush and throw it in there just to feel like you, you continue with oh, the, the... yeah, yeah, yeah. I've used that one for like... Oh, oh, there we go. That's and better. I headbutted the camera. Um, <laughs> oh, tell that studio. Exactly. Um, th th there may well be decisions behind the scenes that go on that, you know, I just don't understand. Yeah. Um, I know that like their manufacturing capacity is um, pretty much like maxed. So yeah. maybe they don't want new customers. What they want to do is like milk the existing customers for yeah. lots and lots of money. Um, so maybe that's a thought process behind it. But they this the whole Warhammer Plus is like granted if you got it day one, it was what fifty quid for the year. Yeah, something like um, that. Yeah. And then you got like a ten pound voucher. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You get the free miniature, you do you get the apps. Like if you use everything, forty, fifty quid for a whole year is not a horrendous amount of money. No. Um I think like it was it was just heavily advertised as the animations, the animations. And they said, Oh, we're gonna have all of these animations, we're gonna have a start ease and this, that and the other. Um, of which, you know, we haven't even seen yet. Um so if they put things out on YouTube, they wouldn't be able to get, you know, sponsors in like, this video was brought to you by Squarespace. Yeah. Um, and that kind of thing. But they would get the ad revenue. Yeah, of course they would. Um, so I think the average thing is like $4 per 1,000 views. Yeah. So you get a million views a month, you get 4,000 quid. Um, $4,000. Yeah. Uh, which is what, like 3,600 and something. Um brain fog they would have all that money and astartes when it came out went mega viral yes it did incredibly well granted the official version has been taken off mm -hmm. somebody's put all four four five bits together and that's on like 20 odd million views they won't be getting any ad revenue from it because like games workshop will have said like copyright yeah um but they could be making money that way and bringing people into the hobby because Astartes is responsible for so many people getting into Warhammer. Um, so they've just kind of gone, I know that like they'd like to do everything in-house and keep it all sort of them, but like I feel like it was just a massively fumbled opportunity um, and a, like a very short-sighted one. Like Warhammer Plus has been mishandled. The shows aren't as good as they could be. The frequency of the animations is is really poor. I think, I think yeah, they're gonna have to because I think that they they're gonna they'll have done so much now that they're gonna have to go ahead with the second year. Cause yeah. We know there's Angels of Death. There's, there'll be a Starties two allegedly. Yeah. You know there'll be lots of sequel things going on, but um, the miniatures have obviously been made because yeah. you've seen outlines of of at least the forty k one. Anything, so they're gonna to have to go ahead, but I do think if they don't know, uh... I think that miniature though, like, say they, they've given the outline of the 4K one, like, I don't think they will can um, Warhammer Plus for a second year. I don't, I don't think they will. No, um, I think, it, I think it'll go, I think it'll go at least this next year, yeah, but then after that, I think it'll, uh, yeah, um, and then if Games Workshop, I don't like Games Workshop, is. They'll just cancel it, and then they will talk about it. As they'll talk as though it never ever existed in the first place, and we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what happened to Warhammer Plus? What? What, what do you mean? Warhammer what? 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 Warhammer what? 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 Don't know what that is. What? Sorry, mate. No, no, don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's what it's like. Like Disney Plus, but for Warhammer, no. No, no I don't no, know what that is. No, no sorry. I don't know what that sorry. is. Yeah, yeah. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. So um, yeah, I think the uh, yes, but anyway. 
enough of that. Yes, let's move on, shall we? Shall we? Yes. Right. Okay. So, right, ready? It's been a while. Right. We've got a lot of releases. We have got a lot of releases, yeah. Um, one that completely cared for me because I was under the impression that they were going to be releasing this new... Well, not under the impression they are going to be releasing a new kill team. I knew they were going to release a new kill team. Yeah. But, like everybody else, everyone had done the mental just gymnastics and believed it was going to be the new uh, Castle Car Skin. Castle Skin. Caraskin. I'm going to just keep choosing to, where's the beginning with the K to Oh, God. Catkin? Catkins. Catacombs. <laughs> Pyramids. Kit, Kit Kats. <laughs> Cassican, I think they were like Carskin. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Special Forces Canadians. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone was, went, ah, they're going to do them because eagle eyed viewers are gone. They've done the bases differently in the yeah. shots to the bases yeah, on the, had, uh, yeah. the rest of the Imperial Guards. They said, is, is it likely they're going to turn up in Kill Team? And lo and behold, they on... What day did they do it? Sunday, they yeah. they did some... Uh, they did a, uh, uh, an update on, on their skirmish games and yeah. they covered Kill Team and it wasn't our cheeky Cadian friends at all. It wasn't. It was, t and t it's the first time they've had two new armies since two the new first models box. in the yeah. yeah since the first box yeah because the rest of them have been one new unit and, an and another spring. upgraded unit yeah. and this time it's the first time they've they've done new models and models that we've not really seen before being uh, Imperial Navy breaches yeah and I've got to be honest we've got them here they're lovely. Yeah, they were really lovely. Loads of character. They look like they they have the impression of looking like they are naval troops. I think they look great. I like the big uh, steady looking boots as though they're uh, they're magnetized. Yeah, you know for the for you know for moving around the hull on the outside. They look great. Um, the one with the the shotgun with the gap in the shield, which we're looking at now. Yeah, fantastic. And if the idea being as as somebody else said on YouTube, if the idea not that you'll ever be able to know. But if the idea being is is that when he's got that in there, he just racks the shotgun. Yeah. Would yeah. be really cool. I like the fact that he went, uh, so we can have a double barreled shotgun for you, mate. He went, no, how about treble barreled will do me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't noticed that before. Oh, wow. <laughs> All the barrels. Yeah. But yeah, really, really nice. He's very, very cool. Liking him lots. And then the third one as well, who's walking along carrying a shotgun, running along carrying a shotgun, and he's. Um, Racking the slides and he's ejecting an empty uh, an empty shell out of it as well as he goes. Oh, wicked! Yeah, it's really cool. The boss is nice with, with the bolt gun and the helmet. Yeah, yeah, that is loads really of character. Cool. Yeah, really, really nice. So they've only shown us three. There's a strong likelihood they will be a ten man box. Yeah. Well, not a ten man. Well, they'll ultimately be a ten man box, but ten man unit in in the kill team. They seem to have settled on like uh, like ten, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, ten yeah. seems to be it. And then the next ones they've released is they've done new Crute, who haven't had any models for nigh on twenty years. I was going to say, like I being new to El Hobbio, um, I, I'm very unfamiliar with them. Yeah, yeah, Crute came out on the same time as they released uh, the Tau. They released them as their as their um, oh. mercenary straight away. They were done the same day. Um, they originally had um, a couple of different, their equivalent of like captains or sergeants or whatever you will, as they, they call them shapers. Yeah. Um, this one looks to be like an upgrade of an existing model, but it's been, is a nice re reimagining of the same thing. They've given him a cloak, which he didn't have originally. Yeah. But he did have that leather mask on over his face and had the, the uh, towel weapon above his head. Really, really nice. Looks good. The, uh, they then did a one who looks like he's firing some sort of bow and arrow meets rifle, which is a really cool, unusual looking weapon as well. That's new. That's not been seen in Tau before. Yeah. That's really, it's really cool. I did look at that and thought, you know, if I had that, I'd have to turn it sideways. So it looked like the, um, it looked like the weapon, the, uh, the blind guy had in Rogue One. Oh yeah. 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 You yeah, remember? yeah. 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 Yeah, but that's really cool. I like it. I, I like the idea that it looks like there's little tiny bits of tau technology going on in the bow. Some of the little some little elements of it. it looks quite high tech, attached to a low tech rifle. Yeah, I think that's a really nice model as well. Yeah. And then the next one, I really liked. I like this one where he's. Uh, oh, he looks badass. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Like he's just figuring out what he's going to do next. It's very, very cool. 
nice pose. It just, it's great because they've updated them and kept everything that was good about them in the first place. But just, I think there's that thing they're doing as well, just that Games Workshop thing of now, they're getting very good at thin miniatures. Yeah, and, yeah. And, well, and it. Design Studio, fantastic. Absolutely yeah. smashing it. The minute There's a reason why they're the biggest miniature company. And it, oh, yeah. And it, and it isn't because they have a top-notch marketing department. No, no, it is. It, it does all lie with the, It does all lie with how good. They're. Yeah, and and that that you don't go wrong. It should do, but you yeah, know. yeah. I mean, it fits in with the mantra. You know, they are a manufacturing company. Like that's what they focus a lot of their energies into doing. And then the last thing they've done is a new crew town, <laughs> which um, crew towns in the original squads used to be able to be in a in for want of a better team in a troop squad, they could be in there amongst them. They could, yeah. So you could actually have them. What I'm actually hoping, and I don't know if they will, but when you collect um, Tyranids, mm. the little tiny ripper creatures are scattered amongst the sprue. And you clip them off and then you they make you get enough of them together and you stick them, like however many it is, four or five on a base. Yeah. And then that's a base of rippers. Okay, it's yeah. it's the yeah. same with... Um, it's the same with the scarabs for the Necrons. They they yeah, inhabit yeah. the bases. Yeah. It'd be lovely if the um if the hounds are on the um if the hounds are on the sprue. Yeah. Some of me thinks they probably will do it be because I think Games Workshop now do that thing, don't they, where if there is an inch of space on the sprue, they'll they'll fill it with something now. And I'm wondering that the uh, whether the hounds might actually just become part of because it's yeah. a good market employee as well, because as you might get one or two in the box, but you'll go, oh, do you know what, I could do with more of them. Or, and, you know, people will start spending money on more crew yeah, squads to, yeah. just to get and, hounds. And, like, like, generally, all of the, let's say, like, the crab, yeah. was such a popular miniature. Like, yeah. like they'll be like, let's have Angry Green Space Doggo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. And it's nice, because obviously the last time they had these, they were metal. Yeah. So it's uh, it's nice to see the, see the crew town coming back again. But... My hope for them is that they'll end up on. Um, my hope for them is that they'll actually end up on a uh, a sprue with yeah. the with the main guys. Then they've showed us some of the scenery for yeah, the space so Hulk variant of the game, like a corridor shooter yeah. kind of thing. And it's yeah. quite interesting, isn't it? Because this is the first time they've sort of said games work. Um, this is the first time games work sort of said to us, "Oh well, kill team is played in like seasons." Mm. You know, you've just had. Your last one during that particular campaign, and now this one will be for the next few boxes. Will yeah, be in a space yeah. hulk. So I think the um, the the Kaskins were on a similar base, like that kind of like black. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. So I think because they're, they're going to be apparently they'll be they've the already next... said they will be next, and it oh. will still be the space hulk. Yes, yes. So, so it's all, and then more scenery. Because in this, they they talk about how the scenery can all slot together. Together. And you yeah. Can, yeah. Yeah. So I think that will be um, yeah I think that will be their plan is that the you know we'll now probably have well how many boxes did we have of the last ones we had the four was it four I think it probably well, was the, you the, probably have all of them don't no you? I don't have the one with the towel and the sisters. oh the sisters one so, so the, um, you've got Octarius more more rock, is it? and then Nakmund Nakmund and then the sisters the other and towel the sisters ones, ones so is four, four. yeah. So potentially you might have four. Just think about how. Cool so is it a season? A season a year, like four? Because they're quarterly, yeah, quarterly, yeah, quarterly boxes, aren't they? It, yeah. It, really? yeah. So um, yeah. So you think by the end of it, you could have like the entire scenery system for like a, a Make space it, hulk. Like a massive but, space really, hulk. Yeah. Really cool if that's the way they go. They like end up playing like a forty k game on it or something. Yeah, <laughs> really smart. So that'd be cool to see if they go with that. I some people have moaned because a lot of people really love space space hulk and it's an original format. I. I loved it and I've played it for years. Nice little fact for you. Never won a game, not once, and never ever won a game of Space Hulk. <laughs> Probably says more about me than my opponents, to be fair. But um, yeah, I think it's really cool. I still hope Space Hulk doesn't get kicked to the curb as a thing that, may, you know, at some point it comes back and it's a original game in a box format. Yeah. But I think the idea that Kill Team can exist in a, in a similar environment, I'm all for. Yeah. To be fair, so I think yeah. that's I think that's a really really great little idea. It's um, cool that they're taking it to new places as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Than just like here's your board. Nah. Yeah, 
Um, I, like it's it's developing. It's uh, yeah, no, cool. I I always really like the Kilton guys. So the thing I would like to see them do going forward is um, I uh, I know that the the crew are an established mercenary unit because they've been with Tau ever since. Mm. But as as we've seen in the as we've seen in the rule book for forty k, there's lots of little different alien races out there, and you go, well, there's no reason that they can't be knocking around as well. And you go and you know, and, and they then they can be a mercenary unit for any, of the, you know, for a whole range of different armies as well. And you think, yeah, you know, because you, you you're not having to be committed to having to make them, no, into a full forty k yeah. army. They're mercenaries. Yeah. You can take a squad or a couple of squads or whatever. So I hope further into the future they they go. Let's just start doing a unit of these, and you know they never have to become anything other than the ten man box that they are. Yeah. Which, to be honest, I know that is Steel Legion has got. Not Steel Legion, sorry. So Death Corps Krieg has a mega, a mega legacy within Forge World. Yeah. But within 40k in plastic, it, it, they, them, Just, they only exist in one box. They're yeah. not looking at doing a heavy weapon squad for them. They're not talking about doing tank crew for them or no. anything else. So in a weird way, they're the same as their mercenaries. They go, it's just this box. Yeah. Do what you with it, what you will. Yeah. And to some degree, the Eldar pirates are the same. You go and you know they, they, you won't be able, they won't be making anything to do yeah. like a whole army yeah. of them. Yeah. The Eldar pirates on bikes. They won't be doing that. It's just that. Yeah. Add it to your army as you want. So I'd like to see them do more alien races further down the line that can be used as mercenaries, like the Krutar. So yeah, I'm, I'm all good with that. i I think it's quite an interesting move. Yeah. Like I say, I just don't want it to kill Re any hope space of there ever yeah. being Space Hulk ever again. There's gonna be, be, I reckon. Primaris Terminators are bound to happen. Yes. Um, maybe tenth edition. Yeah. Well, apparently, didn't somebody? Um, hasn't somebody been dispatched as a graphic designer to do something for a video game in the future? Oh, I don't and know. the design where he was sent to draw was basically looks like Primaris Terminators. Oh. So uh, yeah, potentially they are something that's on the. Horizon. On the horizon I, I, did read, yeah. I, I got told this very briefly on something on, on, on YouTube and I, I only sort of half digested it, but someone yeah. put up in images of what looked like yeah. Primaris, uh, Primaris Terminators. And the other thing yeah. that I think we're probably going to get because they, they're they seen in um, in the Space Hulk, um, in Space Marine 2 video game is looking like um, uh, a jump pack mar assault marines for. Yeah, because that was Primaris a big, a big, big well, part of the first yeah. game, wasn't it? So yeah. they'll, they'll be like, can we have jump packs for Primaris? Yeah, we yeah. can now. Because they're in the trailer, aren't they? The Space Marines are all wearing Primaris armour in Space Marine 2, but they turn up on jump packs. I thought they jumped off the Thunderhawk. Oh, they did jump off the Thunderhawk, but I think... Oh, but is there, is there a gameplay clip where he like yeah, jumps yeah. into the ground or yeah. something? Yeah, yeah. So I think there's uh, I think there's something going on with that. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's something to turn up in 10th. Yeah. Or turn up as... Something to make you pull your finger out and buy the uh, the second variant of the Space Marine Codex, which is due for release next yes. year. So they might, yeah, yeah. They might release them for that to sort of go, you know. Yeah. To you know, please spend more money because yes. your new yes. unit will only be in that book. Yeah, so, yeah. So from that bit, that's caught my eye because it's forty k and it's a kill team and it's something I have a bit of an interest in both. I'm uh, I'm thumbs up with that. Yeah. Anything? Yeah. Any, any particularly we. I mean, the Angron leak made me giggle. Um, <laughs> the Angron leak that was showing more Imperial Guards. Yeah. Somebody yeah. looks like Cajuns with backpacks now. Yeah, and, yeah. and the tiny corner of what might be the new um, tank. Oh, Because they're right. getting a tank that's meant to be like smaller than a Bane Blade, but bigger than a Lehman Russ. Yeah. It's called, what's the Imperial Fist's Primarch? Dawn. It's Dawn. I think it's called the Dawn. Oh, right. Yeah, because obviously you've had the Lehman Ross, so you've had a Primark named Tank already, so yeah. I think it's named after him. So there's a corner on that potato cam image of a tank that no one recognises the back of. Yeah, yeah. So I've seen that they did their usual thing, didn't they? As soon as the potato cam variant went out, they then... S somebody, they go, oh, they're very annoyed that you're looking at bad potato quality pitches like they, exactly as they did with the guards like yeah. the, and and um you can always tell when the reveal video has been filmed and edited in an afternoon 
Yeah. Because um, they'd whack it on and do some 360s and stuff like that. But because um, they had to do that with the Demon Prince yeah. and um, and the, uh, the the guard. I think they, they released the images, didn't they? And, yeah. And then was the video. Did they do a video? No, I don't think they did a video. They just put images yeah. on, didn't they? Yeah. So... But I mean, yeah, they they so they cancelled the uh, the playtesting program because um, too much of it's getting leaked. Apparently, so, yeah, so much of it's getting leaked. Um, so that will be interesting moving forward, seeing how they manage the playtesting. Well, the in, thing is, is we've talked about it before. We've, people. we've talked about it before that I don't think the playtesting is up to much scratch anyway, because you know they bring out a rule on them within a couple of weeks of starting to have a codex. The next thing they're going, oh well, we want to. Change this now, and we, you know, we've decided that's like overpowered. A lot of FA, and, FAQs and stuff. Yeah, straight away. And, so and, yeah, I'd rather the play test talking about as much as. Creep. Yeah, all right. It means I'm not going to be, you know, I'm not going to be as likely to be able to see things that have, you know, earlier than they should be, and leaked codexes and all of this stuff. But yeah, yeah. If you bring it, you know, hopefully if they can bring it in house, maybe they can get it so that a codex is a codex is a codex for as long as it's meant to be. I would or worry. Least, yeah. I, I would worry that, um, you know, if you have a boss who has a reputation for being a bit of an angry, intimidating character, and if you disagree with him, will make your life difficult, you know, Games Workshop, like I said, very tribal, you know, or, yeah. or like Downton, you know, you don't go against the family, <laughs> uh, yeah. and you're like, Yes, Father. I I think these mortal wound characteristics are absolutely fantastic, Father. Um, please please give me my bonus, Father. Don't throw me in the stocks. Um, I, I, I worry that I, I I would genuinely be concerned that something like that might yeah, happen. Would go, you, yeah, you would need somebody uh, with great big balls to go yeah. to go in and be like. This is heresy. Yeah. Um, or I've just broke this codex and turned it into like a, you know. Yes. Yes. I've immediately broke it. Or, or as well, like sometimes when you're so close to something, um, you know, you have to step away. You have to have other people come in and stress test it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, and obviously when it when it um, when it with all the orc vehicles, like whenever we had all, all the buggies and they were winning tournaments, when it was just. The, the two thousand point army of orcs was just vehicles. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they were like, "We already have vehicle games." Yeah. You know, guess we'll have to change it. Mm. Um, and because they, I guess, wouldn't have thought it would be played that way, because otherwise they would have put the rules in already. Yeah. Um, so sometimes you can be like, "Well, nobody will do it like that." Yes, they yeah. will. I, like um, I've said before, I just don't know whether they don't play test well enough or just. The average intelligence of a of a tournament ready 40k player is so high that they can break a codex very quickly you know yeah, i don't yeah. know you know but either either or neither should be happening they should you know a codex should be a codex should be tournament proof really yeah you know I mean? yeah and, and i guess there's always going to be errors and and or like ways of interpreting the rules and having to, you know, change a bit of the language. Like, is, what is it? Is it because forty k is like? I mean, I don't play it. Is it too complicated? Is this because there's a lot? I know yeah, from filming the yeah. bat reps, so we're like, God, there's so many rules. Yeah. Because um, the thing is, you do, you don't want to end up back at London GT. That mm. was a good game. No, but it wasn't. It wasn't. But it wasn't though, was it? You know, you don't want to end up back such, there again. Such a wonderful advertisement. For, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this amazing hobby. Yeah. Uh, but tournament play is. I mean, we we've said it a bunch of times. Or you said to me like when I'm like, God, oh, all these rules and this, that, and the other. And you'd be like, Well, just don't don't use them. Just yeah, use yeah. just use the book. If just you're not playing book, competitive, yeah. who yeah, cares? Because yeah. I know like uh, somebody was telling me recently they were like, God, oh, if you need to play Admech, you need like four books. Yeah. Oh, um, if you're going to play it competitively, but um, you know, well, you know, but, you know, well, me and them. Um, me and my mate Tim, I've gone nearly in the whole episode not mentioned Tim. Um, me and my mate Tim just look at what comes out for London and go decide what bits of it we, what ones we go, yeah, we'll have that. Yeah. But we won't have that. And we, you know, it's like, you know. So, yeah, like I say, the, you can't be made to play it at gunpoint using their rules. You take out of it what you, yeah. You just take out of it what you fancy. So, yeah. You know. But, yeah. I would just like to say, uh, just for a minute. Mr. Ashdown, Mr. Ashdown Games, I'm quite liking your brushes. You're going on really well. Not bad at all, thank you. I need a bit more, bit more time. I, I use the um, the Series M 
uh, artist opus brushes usually, which I, th I think are like, well, you can see this is two size twos. Yeah. Uh, if I can get them in focus. Mm -hmm. boo, 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 boo. Um, the, uh, the size M is, is like a bit stubbier. I think I feel like there's more bristles. Um, it's got a bigger belly. Yeah. And the size, I think the, the, the series M are quite uh, stiff. Yeah. Uh, which I'm used to. Yeah. Not to say that this is worse. But no, no, they're just a softer brush. Yeah. Whereas I use the, the S series and yeah. they, are, they are a softer brush. So this is, uh, I quite this one very much is in my, uh, is very much in my wheelhouse. So again, thank it's you. It's in one's wheelhouse. Yes. Yeah. So thank you again for uh, sending them on. So it's that time of the show. Hobby heroes. Hobby heroes. Yes. And this time, who it's doing? a man who not only paints a fair marine, he Heretic. fair marine up as well, doesn't he? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the one and only Mavericks paint. Yeah, Mavericks paint. A, a, straight away, hats off from us. A retired firefighter with a poorly back, which was, sorry to hear that. And, but, you know, firefighting's losses are gain because he's thrown himself into painting miniatures. Yeah. And... Bless him, you know, he may have a damaged back, but he's done far worse to Space Marines. <laughs> you, you, a lot of you, I would imagine, have already seen him. But he he models them being blown in half, chopped in yeah, half. Yeah, just like interesting ways to die. Just, I mean, yeah. It's just like, you know, literally, is it's like every death under the sun for a poor See. Space Marine. But it's not even just like a bit of a giggle. They're painted extraordinarily well with yeah, so many different yeah, effects. yeah. He mainly, um, interestingly, works in um, in reels. He yeah. works in one minute reels a lot of the time. But so I think I think that came from Instagram, and I think it came from because they're really pushing the one minute content to yeah. to try and rival TikTok, um, and lots of creators were being like, "Oh, I, I don't know how to do video. I don't want to get into doing it," and he did. And has had incredible success. Yeah, and he does. He, he his painting is extremely good. Yeah, straight off the bat, we'll say that. But he does do a really good job of being able to take something really well done and break it down in a minute. Yeah, successfully. Yeah, yeah. To be able to get across, you know, and there's so, was, so much humor in the videos as well. Yeah, like I feel like his character really comes across. Yeah, even comes, even if he doesn't talk, he does a really yeah. good job. He um, he he's. Uh, as many of the people that we are big fans of in here, is a bit of a master of the oil paint. He did. He did. A, um, he painted a really good imperial fist that he covered with brown, brown oil paint to the point that I slightly started to feel my sphincter sort of sort of tensing up at the thought yeah, of him covering yeah. this miniature in this much. Was that like a, a streaking grime? Or it was a streaking was grime. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a streaking grime, and he covered it, and then he took it all back off. And I was thinking, good luck to you, mate, because I'm not sure you have a good shout. And it looked great. Yeah. He did a really, really fantastic job of it. He's, I've like watched... I say, he's, his ability to knock an informative video into one minute, I think is an absolute stunning skill. Yeah. So, uh, Microset and Microsol, um, I watched his tutorial and, and, yeah. and follow that one. Um, he's done like how to paint a bolter, and that was really great. How to he's paint a power sword. Various like blades and glazes and stuff like that. Purity um, seals. Paint a flamethrower. Yeah. All of these things in just little bite-sized reels. Fantastic. Really, really impressive. Really, really good. And, you know, even if it's all you're going to tune in for is seeing what a space marine would look like if someone shot a melter gun through the middle of him, <laughs> he's got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> he really has. Yeah, he is... Um, he's this week's hobby hero, Mavericks Paint. Go and give him a watch. And, uh, yeah, he's on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, uh, like the big three. Yeah, and he's 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 doing well on uh, on everything. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's really really impressive. Yeah, and and like I say, to to do such an informative video in one minute is uh, particularly cool. It really is. Yeah, thank you for your work, Mister Mavericks, Mister Maverick Paints. We uh, we're loving it. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, in the last couple of days, Pat. You've mm. done a thing, haven't you? Have I done a thing? What have I done, Jeff? You did a thing. You um, you went for a, um, an unconven an unconventional way of painting a marine and constructing a marine. I was feeling a little bit sassy, Jeff. <laughs> um, I was you have a one of your days. It's that you know what you like when this weather gets to you. Yeah, my 
God, it's so hot, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, like, uh, uh, the long story of it is, uh, yeah, we... we um, the, the longer form videos that we produce, quite often I'll cut them down into like a painting montage and put some shorts up. Yeah. Um, and we're not good painters. No, we're the size of the average. Um, and, and people, I guess, aren't used to, the, like say like the quality of the video doesn't match the quality of the, of, of, yeah. of the painting. So, I think, well, can I just add to that as yeah. well? I think what doesn't help with having uh, videos filmed is the fact that you're such a good job, you do such a good job at it. What I think people aren't used to is how close you film yeah. to a miniature. Yeah, so it know, looks, it, yeah. You know, if, if you get any a better lens than this, uh, the next time you film me, yeah, I'll just be painting atoms. Yes. You know? Yeah, I mean, like every metal stuff, when you get too close to it, like it, you, you start to see the cracks. Yeah. yeah. Because it has been painted. So, so I we're painted... not doing ourselves any favours by putting lenses that far yeah. away from miniatures. So I painted yeah. the Gene, Steen, Gene Steeler Cult Neophyte mm. and it had a bit of a ripping, which is you're entitled to your opinion. Yeah. But the thing is, like, say, you know, it is painted. It's painted whilst being filmed extraordinarily close, and it's there for you to see warts and all as to what painting a real miniature looks like, as opposed to being painted at a nice safe distance. And and then we ooh and are about how nice it was. But anyway, I had a bit of a ripping. I'm a big boy. I've got big shoulders. I can cope with it. Yeah. But you um you decided to get your little sassy hat on. And do a thing, didn't you? Oh, don't make me laugh. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pick chrome in my recess. Right, I'm gonna stop. Yeah, don't, um, don't, 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 I'm impressed. I'm impressed you picked that up. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, I, I, there was one comment that made me laugh, and it was, um, it was just like videography, great painting, rubbish. I'm so confused. Yeah. Um, so, as, as a bit of a response, I, uh, I painted this monstrosity. <laughs> 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 You're making the table shake. Stop, I'm sorry. Stop I'm laughing. sorry. I'm going to move myself. Um, which, if you can see that, all the eyes, oh, they just all of the eyes, just, the eye. Yeah, they just like a big, big peer into your soul. Um, <laughs> so I painted this in about twenty minutes. Um, got it. Got it all on camera. Oh, I need to show you the transfer. There we go. Oh, look at that. I don't think you've used any microset or microsol on that. You know, now that I'm looking at it. Funnily enough. Um, <laughs> I didn't, Jeff. No. no, I didn't. Um, we have some dirty down rust. Oh, uh, just, all of, just all on, the techniques. Just on one leg. Um, <laughs> I like the idea that it was stood still long enough in one yeah, spot, just yeah. with like one leg and a leg. <laughs> um, so if any if if anyone's wondering about you know how I painted this, um, I didn't prime it. Oh, I just just globbed on some Avalanche Sunset. Um, you know, recesses the rubber is black. Uh, Blood Angels red contrast paint for the shoulders. Uh, some green, you know, the power sword is highlighted. I went yeah, yeah, above you went and beyond for it there. there. Didn't you? Um, this is an assault intercessor, which, when they're leaning forwards and running forwards on that foot as they should, they look quite normal and quite aggressive. Dynamic, yeah. Um, but I just put. Put uh, put them on the flat of their foot, and it just looks like they're falling over. The, the only thing that miniature is, is missing is a small miniature banana skin under that. Foot. Oh, maybe <laughs> yeah. And I do have tufts on the base. Yeah, as well, you put you know. the effort in the you know, mean, the bases. You know, I'm taking the piss, but you know, I'm not a, I'm not a barbarian. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, so I made this and and uh, screenshotted the comment and 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 my reply that just said, "Welcome to the painting phase, baby." Um, <laughs> And I put this on all of our platforms, and and TikTok seems to have enjoyed it immensely. Immensely. Um, when when I checked before we started filming, it had one hundred and eighty thousand views. Yes, uh, and we've been filming for we're well, just about an hour. one hour and five minutes. So, well, about an hour because we've got a couple of little. Place spots. your bets. What do you think we're on? Well, I my original bet when I came up when we when you mentioned it to me is I said two forty, wasn't it, or two twenty? I can't. Yeah. I think it was two twenty. Yeah. I think. So I'm not. I'm not going to look. Oh, okay. God, what are you saying? I, ooh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go mental. I'm going to go. Go on. I'm go go two fifty. Two fifty. Yeah. Okay. Go on, baby. And what are you going to say? I was two twenty. Two twenty. 238. Oh. Yeah, so we're nearly we're nearly at a quarter of a million views in uh, 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and this is the worst, it's so the worst miniature I've ever produced. Um, but it's funny. It's and funny. it's shareable, and it's... I, th I think that's what people have cottoned on to. So yes. um, we're probably going to stop making this content because it's only watched by a few hundred people. <laughs> um, if we can reach two hundred and fifty thousand people in a day, yeah, um, I'll it. paint. I'll paint these for the rest of my life. <laughs> well, uh, we need to try and figure out how to monetize. I'm it. good. Yeah, I'm, then... I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna get myself a. Um, I'm gonna get myself a, a house paint roller and do a couple of rhinos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, read you some of the comments. I hate this with a passion. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's so passionate about it. <laughs> Ooh, someone chose chaos today. Thanks, I equally love and hate it. <laughs> Something in a different language I will have to Google Translate. Better than what I can do. Oh. God, it hurt to watch. I'm in stunned silence. No! Crying emoji. <laughs> Those grass patch placements absolutely made this. <laughs> Chef's kiss. <laughs> so a lot of confusion. Um, people are saying he's perfect. Um, this is this is a female space marine, folks. You know, we all know exist and love female space marines. Everyone's a big for the minute they're mentioned. Everyone is in a big hurry for them to be made. So this is the sisters of Battlehead, um, and everyone thinks I took it from the He-Man matches. <laughs> <laughs> this makes it even funnier or even more funny. Um, you're really trying to bring out the details in the figure. <laughs> Average female space marine painter. There we go, someone oh. got it. Yeah, words cannot describe the discomfort I feel right now. <laughs> I love the idea of an entire army painted like this. <laughs> I see you've been taking lessons out of my book. <laughs> Finally, someone who can paint like me. Love and hate this at the same time. This video started again and the monstrous blob of paint just getting smacked onto this poor <laughs> superhuman mutant warrior was too much. <laughs> oh, it's so fucking funny. So oh. I'm just going to give up. Um... What was the one that but my favourite is still finally one thick coat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was fantastic. I mean, we've just... We've... Well, don't give votes. <laughs> We've joked about bringing Warhammer into a state of disrepute. Yes. I, th I think we've finally done it. It didn't take us long. We've no. been on the air three months. Yeah, I think we've done yeah. quite well. That's it. We just retire now. Two and a bit months. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, that's that's um, 10 minutes. No, 20 minutes work. 250,000 views. Um, game on, mother... Push the unclean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fantastic! Uh, I know I always find something funny when I start coughing, but I'm trying to laugh. That's that, that's the key that it's. Uh, you see, full... this this Iron Warrior, you know, beautiful beautiful model that this this Warp the, Smith is turning out. To my be. my the most successful video on our channel is Indeed, uh, um like the I the shorts the Iron Warrior short yeah it's got like thirty nine thousand Gene Steeler got twenty thousand mm -hmm. most successful. Long video was our the first time Your warrior first one, time which warriors, got yeah. which got fourteen thousand. Yeah, and then this. <laughs> so so um, if there is a moral of the story, I guess it's um, put on your sassy pants and just paint really badly. <laughs> And enjoy yourself. Yeah. If just you're painting and it's making you laugh while fun. you're doing it. Then yeah. Maybe that's... I, I tell you what, when I was painting this, I was thinking to myself, right, how... I don't think this looks bad enough. <laughs> because, like, I tell you, I globbed on this paint. When it was wet, it looked horrific. But, like, I... I mean, you'll see... Hey, what well, you've got to give it to the details managing to fight yeah. its way yeah. through, wasn't yeah. it? Like, there was a, a couple of bubbles and stuff, but with the face, like, you, you'll see how much paint I smushed on it. You can still see the lips. You can still see the nose. Like some, like some of the finer details gone. Yeah, yeah. But really, not very much. Like you can still see. Like you've you've watched the video. You saw how much paint I put oh, there. Good love there. And you can still like with the trowel. Yeah, you can still see the ridges, yeah. which is frankly shocking. Well, it's but it's testament to the design of the miniatures that yeah. you can manage yeah, to yeah, do yeah. that. You can still so see. well done, design studio. Um, <laughs> someone like me can barely ruin them. Um, but yeah, I, I I was thinking to myself, how can I make this even worse? 
Um, and I think I think that for me it's the transfer. The transfer, uh, yeah, crazy. I love it. Transfer um, is fantastic. But there we go. That's that's enough of that one. So um, if you haven't seen that, um, you know that's well, I, you may well have done. But that's some behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, so insult us, and we'll paint more miniatures like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. I You've think been I, warned. <laughs> I'm, I might I might genuinely paint a kill team. Um, I might paint the rest of that assault intercessor box. Um, like that like this and just have an army of absolute ding-dongs <laughs> <laughs> well, right name name you have to name this legion oh um, there's a good challenge. there we go if you've watched all the way through name this legion um somebody did name on tiktok so they, they said call him greg <laughs> um so this is greg the female well, space marine yeah um but what? Who does she work with? Yeah, Who's her gang? yeah. Alpha yeah. Legion symbols, but you know they could mean anything else. Yeah, well, because especially this is it's upside down. It could yeah, mean something Yeah, because you know it's all made up, yeah. so uh, it doesn't matter. Um, God, and I put so much super glue on there as well. That is not coming off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Brilliant. So thank you for watching, and. We're very, at, very nearly at 2,000 subscribers. We are. By the time this comes out, maybe we might yeah. even be there. Thank you so much. It's been really, really kind. Not even three months and you've got us to 2, 000, nearly 2,000 subscribers. Really, really appreciated. But if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, off you go. Get down there and press that button. Be much appreciated. And if you are a subscriber, tell your mates and get them to subscribe as well. And let them know about this. Uh, let them know about Greg. Because <laughs> I think she needs all the attention she can get. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in. It's much appreciated. I'm now looking forward to the end of the show because I think... Um, Get out of this about, room. Yeah, but I think it's probably about time I put some pants on. Yeah. <laughs> we are naked from the waist down. It's then, so warm. We'll <laughs> cut to Greg, see if she has any last words. Goodbye! <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm done. I'm oh, done. God. <laughs> <laughs>